That is awesome movie magic music there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we don't get flagged on YouTube, uh, we decided to... Thanks, to YouTube. ...do our own soundtrack here. Uh, um, very own. If we're flagged, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> if you're flagged, I'm showing up at YouTube corporate headquarters, I'm gonna give them a piece of my boot in their ass. This is our, uh, first review of a movie in a long time. I know, man, we've been taking, like, a hiatus. And we're doing, not a long one, just a little quick one, filmed in 60 frames per second, that is... 12 more Which means then. right now your eyes are bugging out. Yeah. See that? Especially no, if you've seen the movie. No mo motion blur there. The movie's in 48. 48 eight, frames? 48 frames. Yeah, we're outdoing you, Peter Jackson. Yeah. Take that. Watch, he's going he's gonna to film the third part of it in like yeah. 96 frames per second. <laughs> Good would. Lord. Your human mind will explode. You will not be able to contain the awesomeness that is 96 frames. The mind wouldn't comprehend it. <laughs> I don't think it would. It'd be like no. Just one... You can only see twenty four actually physically. I believe that's the science of so it. So how clear would ninety six look? I'd be nauseous. And I was kind of nauseous you watching this. We up. we watched this in the forty eight frames per second in three D and it was an experience. It's definitely. Uh, it, it looked like a BBC production. <laughs> yeah, you said. Uh... It did. Because uh, they used the PAL formats to the NTSC. And mm -hmm. uh, that yeah, wonderful transatlantic difference in film. And I will honestly say, I think I prefer the cinematic 24 frames. It just. It's, well, it's that's because we're used to it. Yeah, we are. I wouldn't mind the 48, but it's new right now. So, like, your eyes are just like, oh my God, what's going on here? You're trying to catch all the details. Like, I literally, my eyes hurt. I was like sitting there trying to look at everything and focus and. Pay attention to the movie, but my eyes are just darting all this stuff that and I've it, never noticed before. It opens up in a rainstorm. Oh, God, that was the worst part. I'm like seeing all these rain droplets in 3D in 48 frames, frames per second. second. 48 but frames per second. It, it it was worth seeing it like that. Definitely. I want to go see it in the 24, kind of get a comparison. Yeah. I mean, we saw the last one in 24. Yeah, last one was the first one we saw in 24. This is the first time they've done it on this <clears throat> Yeah, here locally they had a locally high frames per second. Locally in the thriving metropolis of Big Spring, Texas. But if I we're not mean, careful, we're gonna pass twenty five thousand in population soon. <laughs> we might get a Starbucks one of these days. Sure. <laughs> anyway, the the movie itself though, it was really good. Yeah. People who didn't like the first one, who is it uh, that we know? Uh, Cinema Snob did Cinema a Snob. review. Cinema Snob, yeah. He did a review of it. He hates the Lord of the Rings. Hated the, the last entire one. trilogy. The original. He watched this one and he loved it. And I was like, oh, cool. And we had people that can't stand the Lord of the Rings. Frank, he wants to see it. Yeah, Frank. Frankie, you know, little Frankie. He wants <laughs> to see this movie. Uh, my five-year-old stepdaughter wants to see it. And I'm all like, She's not into that kind of stuff at all. I'm like, maybe when it comes on video. I don't know. Yeah, it's, wait it's, till a video. Long, it's, it's a long movie. Long to, movie. To keep a five-year-old like still. Yeah. It's, uh, what is it, 160 minutes long? Yeah. So, That's, uh, but... Almost three, right, at, right under three hours. I went and saw this movie. We went and saw it the day after our company Christmas party. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> the company like, Christmas party. <laughs> we were up till four in the morning the night before. He slept most of the day. I got up. I had to go no, grocery shopping. I didn't shopping. sleep most of the day. I, I went to bed at about four. I woke up at noon. I got eight hours. I woke up before that. I had to go grocery shopping. I had to go little kids. pick up. I don't. <laughs> kids from babysitters. Responsible stuff. adult stuff I ain't got to deal with. And then I was like, hey, the movie starts at 7. We get there like 10 minutes before and we barely make it. Yeah. And uh, who needs previews? We're going to see him again on the next movie we go watch anyway. Yeah. I was. <laughs> I want to go see it just for cheese factor. But that's we're we're gonna see. We're gonna review it and do a comparison. Definitely. Yeah, that'll be a video. That'll be good. That ought to be interesting. Um, we'll watch the first one, and then go see go it. Go see it in the Film it. The review. And then the whole time we're gonna be like, the hell? What the hell? Help me! Who put Michael Keaton in charge of this? <laughs> um. 
but back, back to Hobbit. Hobbit. Yeah, <laughs> let's get back on track. Hobbit. It is a without really spoiling good movie. anything. Yeah, this, like I said, quick review. Half of it's been us talking about other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make a nice video though. It's uh really good. They uh they keep you on your toes through this movie. I mean, every there's not. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of filler. No. The last one, no, it seemed like there was filler. filler. Well, because it's the original book, and they're having to explain a lot. So there, there's more filler of, you know, just random, okay, we're doing this, yada, yada, yada. This one is just yeah. straight to the point. All right, um, got to get the ball rolling. You have read the books. Was yeah. Legolas in the books? Oh, I know. I don't think Legolas was in the books. I, I, I have to go back. It it's been a long time since I've read The Hobbit. I don't remember Legolas being in the original book. So yeah, I could that, be wrong though. I, I don't think I, he is. I've never read him, but I've read him. Now the female like, though, him. she was in it. I believe she was in it because you know they go through into the woodland realm, they get captured, and you know her little thing. Right. Which we're trying not to spoil anything, but the female elf, I believe, was in the actual book. Legolas, I think they're just trying to throw that in there to tie the two together, along with Bilbo and Gandalf, because they're the only three constant things besides the ring that tie the movies together that anybody would know. Yeah, I mean, Legolas, I guess, okay, so he's filler, but he didn't seem like it. No, he, he was... Uh, he fit into it really well. Yeah, How, whatever changes they made, and I'm going to say, i got to go back and read the book, but if they just added him in there, whatever changes they wrote into it, I mean, you wouldn't know the difference. Like, I seriously, I'm seriously doubting myself on whether it's actually in the book or not. It's that I, it's written that well. From what I, what I know of the books, I don't think he is. We could mm. be wrong. Uh, it's been 20 years since I read it. <laughs> you know, I can leave some comments if we're wrong. Um, Feel free to correct us. But yeah, I mean, it does not seem like there's padding in this movie at all. Okay. Uh, and it's a long movie. Like I said, 160 minutes, two hours and 40 minutes but, right there. Yeah, but everything is relevant from the start. Of course, it, you know, it picks up at the end of the first one. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a little bit of gap there. But I mean, it, everything is relevant to the next. There's no, okay, what's this scene about? What is this for? It's just... Scene, 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 scene. It's all just kind of smooth flow. And uh, they, uh, as you see in the trailers, the dragon is in this movie. Yeah. They do a smog. Good job. That the, yeah, I know. This dragon. CGI nowadays, it just doesn't mm. look very realistic, but they did like a Jurassic Park yeah. good on this dragon. Yeah, I mean, you would literally, and even with the glasses and the 48 frames, like, feel like you could reach out and touch it there was detail in dragon that. skin yeah and benedict uh come back come whatever con doing the voice yeah con yeah doing the voice did a really good job even though they filtered a whole lot <laughs> yeah they did filter some but try to make it sound more he had deep a, and ancient and menacing very good personality for a dragon it's right up there with sean connery in dragon heart <laughs> as cheesy as that movie is he was a good dragon Definitely better uh, than the second one they tried to make a Dragon Heart. <laughs> Straight to DVD. Straight to DVD. <laughs> but um, this is a great dragon, though. I mean, but yeah, all the all the acting, the sets. One thing about these Hobbit movies that I I do it's almost a complaint, but not really because they do such a good job on the special effects. In the Lord of the Rings, they did a good job of combining miniatures. And CGI. Yeah. Here it seems like there's a lot more CGI in miniatures for, I, the, for, oh, like, for the bigger scenes, like the big aerial type well, things and stuff. Yeah, and, and the the I don't know. Uh, well, they wrote a special program just for Lord of the Rings, and they called it Massive for the big, huge army scenes. Yeah, and they use they just translated over to <coughs> this one. I mean, granted, there's still another movie to go, but you know they use it in appropriate. I'm talking parts. about like the exteriors of like the locations. Oh yeah, and stuff. well they built miniatures for that stuff. Yeah, some Car some was miniatures, some of it's actual regular size, but like well, for like that just destroyed castle scene, you know they yeah you can't really reproduce a whole humongous half destroyed castle. So I understand the extreme use of CGI there. You could. It'd yeah. just be hard. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be hard. It'd be a lot well, of work and money. I did read about the oh the villain from the first one the oh the orc one the uh, orc villain God, and the one name? that his, his brother this one that takes over yeah looking for them 
they built a full costume, animatronics and everything, for that character, but then they changed it to CGI because they were afraid it wasn't going to blend well with the other orcs. Well, possibly. And well, they could have. What they could have done. Well, it might have worked better. <coughs> this, you know, have have the built animatronic thing, and then just use like CGI blending to make him blend in. Yeah, and they, they try that. Yeah, they. I mean, it worked for Jeff Bridges, kind of, and Tron. <laughs> the younger Jeff Bridges. Yeah, it didn't work. Clue. For him. Clue. Um. Yeah, that you could no, tell those, that was. Those are just minor complaints. I mean, it's technical stuff. But overall. The story, the, the pacing, music. You, if you like the Lord of the Rings movies, go see this. You will love it. If you don't like Lord of the Rings, but you're curious, this is a good this, one to start this with. This is the one to watch, definitely. Yeah. Even um, if you have no interest. Or hate it, like Frankie. Yeah. Well, his, uh, it shocks me that he told me, yeah, Frankie wants to go see it. I'm like, what? He never wants to watch these. He hates this more than Flat. He Beer. wanted to see it, but he had been up till 4 in the morning, too. The night before Aww. with us, and he was like, ah, I'm gonna be a bum. Darn Christmas parties. Frank doesn't even work with us. <laughs> I know, that's the best part. <laughs> well, we snuck him in. Nah. Um, he was your plus one. Yeah. Huh? He was somebody's plus one, they just didn't know about <laughs> it. Yeah. But, um, really, there's not much more to say about it. It's, it's good, worth seeing. That's my opinion. This is the go see it video. We'll do a better review and we'll spoil the crap out of it. <coughs> yeah, maybe when it comes out on video. Yeah, video. We'll do a more in depth look. Actually, I, I'd like to do like maybe when the last one comes out, a retrospective oh. of the whole, the whole series. series. Might be You're going to have to set aside three days to watch this video after we're done with it. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I've been talking about the oh. alien retrospective with Frank for over a year now. We haven't done that yet. So, you know. Well, we. Winter time, cold weather, and other things we've kind of slacked off in our. Yeah, well, we're we're working on it. We'll, um, get, we'll get back on the ball. <laughs> anyway, that's our opinion review of uh, the Hobbit. Desolation of Smog. Yes. Or Smaug, or who? It depends on who's saying his name. It's Smog. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. So. It's anyway. like a sauna up in here. Totally different. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the fast motion, and oh. we'll see you next time. It's coming at you. Take a drink. You know you want it. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Fishy trees, nice and sweet, so juicy, sweet. We beat these bones across the stones and then we eat. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain, precious. We jumps and we jumps, never asking why. We comes in like a wrecking ball, precious. Uh, uh, we I never hit so hard in love. What, what's love, precious? Hmm? I don't understand. All we wanted was to break your walls, precious. And all you ever did was r r r wreck me, precious. You wrecked me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. Oh god, I'm getting dizzy from that part. <laughs> oh.